yes dear students uh, almost uh, we completed this chapter so actually that is the last concept but i want to discuss with you uh, on activity also and about galvanometer also that i will discuss with you next class so today i want to uh, discuss with you uh, two uh, small uh, note points the note points are uh, what are the source of magnetic fields and how we can induce a current co uh, how we can uh, induce in different ways a current in a coil it means explain different ways to induce in a current coil first point is first note point is <coughs> explain different ways explain different ways to induce induce uh, explain different ways to induce current in a coil to induce current in a coil right <laughs> for that solution is to induce current in a coil to induce current in a coil to induce current in a coil the magnetic flux the magnetic flux the magnetic flux linked with the the magnetic flux linked with it linked with it is to be changed whenever the magnetic flux linked with the coil will be changed then only the current will be induced in the coil if it is to be changed it is it is to be changed so this is uh, achieved if this is achieved if first point there is a relative motion there is a relative motion there is a relative motion <laughs> between the there is a relative motion between the coil and magnet relative motion means moving uh, with respect to each other towards with respect to each other right whenever uh, the magnet is uh, stationary then the, there is uh, uh, the current is does not induced in the coil right so whenever the magnet is moving then only the current will be induced in the coil that already we discussed last class relative motion between the coil and the magnet or and a magnet and a magnet that is the first point second point is there is a relative motion between the coil and a conductor carrying current so here also somewhat relative motion will be required for coil and conductor carrying current next last point is so there is a change in change in current change in current in a conductor in a conductor near the coils near the so these are the three points how uh, the current is induced in a coil next uh, our note point is second note point is the magnetic field the magnetic field in a given region is in a given region is uniform given region is uniform given region is uniform 
draw a diagram to represent it draw a diagram diagram to represent it it means some some region they said the magnetic field is uniform so how we can uh, represent its uh, diagram represent it it means magnetic field is nothing but just uh, the given the uh, node point is the given region is uniform then just we can understand how we can write uh, the magnetic field lines are uniform means uniform means how we can write uh, uh, the their field lines so for that uh, solution is so parallel and uh, this uh, this uh, magnetic field uh, inside the region is uniform means it is applicable for uh, magnetic field inside the solenoid also so inside the solenoid the magnetic field lines are uniform only but outside the solenoid the magnetic field, field lines are not uniform why because it make a circular loop and uh, for circular loop uh, in, uh, for any object the direction of uh, the direction is uh, for any instant it will be changes so here so I am, why i am asking means just you have to remember mm -hmm. Uh, in uh, in solenoid the magnetic field inside the uh, solenoid is also uniform so what it means parallel and uh, equidistant parallel and uh, equidistant magnetic field lines parallel and equidistant magnetic field lines represent represents a uniform magnetic field uniform magnetic field in a region as shown in figure in a region as shown in figure show in figure what it means how uh, we can uh, detect the magnetic field in a given region is, is in uh, is uniform parallel and equidistance magnetic field lines represents a uniform magnetic field see for example i am taking a different parallel lines and it makes equidistance one to one so one to one for each one it makes a equidistance so it means a parallel and equidistance magnetic field lines represents the uh, that the magnetic field in given region is uniform so last note point is last note point is just you can name any three source of uh, magnetic fields or list uh, three source of magnetic field list three source of list three source of magnetic fields for this solution first point is natural magnets and uh, artificial magnets natural and artificial magnets are source of magnetic fields that is the uh, first one and second actually this is not in our syllabus that is about electromagnets actually it was deleted see by cbsc so that is no it is not there so for that it is also one of the source of magnetic fields and the third point is a conductor a coil a conductor a coil and uh, solenoid carrying current solenoid solenoid carrying current solenoid carrying current carrying current is the source of magnetic field even fourth point fourth point i will write here just you can make it earth also source of magnetic field so for example if you are in um, unknown place if you want to calculate where your uh, your direction means just you can uh, take take it with you uh, compass needle 
అండ్ ఇట్ కంపాస్ నూడిల్ షోస్ ది డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఆల్వేస్ ఎలా ఇన్ డైరెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ నార్త్ రూస్ సౌత్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఆబ్వియస్లీ ఇండైరెక్ట్లీ వీ కెన్ టెల్ ఇట్ ఆల్సో సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అండ్ ఇస్ నాచురల్ అండ్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ మ్యాగ్నెట్స్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రో మ్యాగ్నెట్స్ ఆ కండక్టర్ ఎ కాయిల్ అండ్ సాలినాయిడ్ క్యారింగ్ క్యారింగ్ ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈస్ ఎర్త్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్స్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్